Hello YouTube, this is Charter Yu-Gi-Oh! And today I want to talk about one of the reasons why I think playtesting is so important and what you should take away from your playtesting. And obviously there are hundreds of things you could say about this, so I'm probably going to do this in several videos. But today I just want to talk about math and knowing your deck and what your deck's potential is. And I don't mean math like advanced statistics and the stuff that people tried to do to that 3 axi Fire Fist deck. There was this one article that was like ridiculously advanced statistics and... I don't know, I'm not good with statistics, so I don't mean like that, I just mean like basic addition, and this is one of the most valuable things you can take away from playtesting. It's familiarity with your deck and knowing exactly how much damage you can put on the board with any given hand. Now, you probably see this at tournaments sometimes where the other person's playing and they sit there and you see them doing this weird thing with their hands. So it's kind of annoying. But what they're doing is they're adding up the attack power that they can put on the board with their hand and figuring up if they want to extend that turn or wait. And obviously that's important, but the more familiar you are with your deck and the more you've play tested, then the quicker you can figure that out. Now, I haven't been doing this so much with Clifforts because honestly, Clifforts can put over 15,000 damage on the board if they want to, so they really don't have to. But with Mermails, I did solo hands and then playtesting online, of course, but with solo hands, I would write down all the cards in my hand and figure out exactly how much damage each combination of cards could do. And I did that for not there's no way I did that for every combination of cards, but a lot of the more common ones, or at least ones that I could build to with all of Mermail's search power, and with that, I didn't have to sit there and add up damage, because I always knew how much I could do. And solo hands are one thing, playtesting against the meta is another, so if you do that during games, perhaps not recording everything, but just making note, okay, with these four cards in my hand, whenever I see these, I can do 6,000 damage. And that way you know exactly when the best moment to overextend is, because you probably ground your opponent down to 6,000, 5,000 over the course of the duel. Especially if you're playing against Cliff Wards, because they do that for you. But there's just lots of different combination of cards, and knowing what they can do, and especially how much damage they can do, is extremely valuable, and one of the things I try to focus on in every game I'm playing. Like, obviously in a competitive match, I have more important things to worry about, but if I'm just playing at locals or playing with friends, I'm thinking about that with every card I draw. Just because I want to be more prepared, and I want to have that edge when I do get to a competitive duel where that actually matters. So post what you think down below, and peace out, YouTube.